Hey there everybody, welcome back to another LEGO set unboxing. You may or may not notice that this is not my usual spot for doing this, and there's a reason for that, we don't need to get into it. Um, but this is a LEGO Indiana Jones set, uh, one of the three new ones that have been released. I picked this and the Escape from the Lost Tomb up very recently, and uh, celebrated my birthday, that was pretty awesome. And uh, I'm a big fan of these sets. I actually have the original Fighter Plane Attack from 2009, and um, I have a surprise I'm going to be sharing in the review of this set. I also will be building both of these sets live. If you're interested, come and you know stop by. There'll be a notification for each of them. Anyway, I'm going to be unboxing this today. This is 77012 Fighter Plane Chase. This is a semi-remake of the 2009 set. Um, instead of the biplane, that the Joneses stole from the Zeppelin. Instead, Lego gives us the car that they stole from the older gentleman that was working on it. And uh, it's a bit of a remake-ish, semi-remake. It pretty much is, just a few things are changed. We also get a signpost as well, as three minifigs. And this has 387 pieces, and it retails for $35, uh, dollars, which is not too bad. I'll show you the, talk about the front of the box really quick. You got the plane attacking the car, chasing it. Um, what I really like about these boxes is that they are different from the original Lego Indiana Jones sets, where those sets were like brown boxes and, you know, with some tan accents. This one, these ones are like dark nougat, and they're a little bit more brighter than the originals, which is kind of a cool, it gives it like a cool aesthetic. Like these sets stand out from other themes um, which is nice. Then you get Lego Indy on the top right, which is kind of cool. Lego's been doing this thing where they've been putting Lego versions of characters from these, you know, themes on the upper corner. And it just looks really nice. Nothing on the, you know, sides of the box. I did actually take the liberty of cutting uh, the bottom of the box of these boxes. Mainly because they had punch tabs and I didn't want to damage the boxes. So that's why I did that. Here's the top showing you the three minifigs. You get Henry Jones Sr. for the actual size reference. Here's the back of the box, which I love because they recreate the, the scene where the car goes in the tunnel and then the plane like yeets the wings off and the plane is like going by the car. It's like slide. They're both in the tunnel and it's really awkward. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a really cool image. I like that they did this. They did a similar thing with the Iron Monger Mayhem set, where on the back they had the scene where Iron Man and Iron Monger are flying up into the atmosphere, and it was a really cool shot on the back of the box, and this is very, this reminds me of that, it's very cool. We have four different shots on the bottom, got the Joneses stealing the car, Indy driving the car, there's the, the them going in the tunnel with the plane about to be just destroyed, and then the feature of this set is that the wings can, you can actually take the wings off of the plane, and that's a really cool thing. You can see the punch tabs. I am not going to do that. I will be uh, opening the box like this. Hopefully not damaging it. Let's see. Okay. It's not going to uh, be too bad. And uh, let's do this. Let's do it brick tech style, as I like to say. There we go. Put that off to the side. And we get bag one, which has a lot of stuff in it. Let's see... A lot of car parts. I can see Indy's body. There's some tires. Chest. Very cool. And it looks like bag two is airplane stuff. There's the pilot. Here is bag three. Uh, let me see. Here's the instructions. Let's take a look at that really quickly. This is one of the things I don't like about new newer Lego sets like these days. Because they... in I don't know when they changed it. So... Lego instruction manuals, for the longest time, you know the front of the box art, so basically, this set has this kind of box art right there, and normally, Lego would just put that design on the front of the book, but now they've done it where it's just white background with the CGI computer models of the, of the set, and it just doesn't look good, although the logo, in Lego Indiana Jones logo is fantastic uh, to see brought back. But other than that, it just looks so boring. Like, they don't care about the presentation. It's just... I don't know. It's... I guess this is newer. It's meant to be an update, like a modern look to these instruction manuals. 
but to me it just looks lazy it does not it doesn't look that exciting compared to the box is what i'm trying to say but you got the qr code there's the set in digital form there is the sustainable packaging ad that's interesting there is builder or what was lego life and there's a blank page okay and here is what we'll get so it looks like bag one uh gives us the henry jones or the joneses and the um signposts and the car and then bag two builds us the pilot and um the the body of the plane and then bag three completes the plane which is very nice let's see there's the minifigs. I'm very excited to have this new Indiana Jones. I, I'm very, very happy to see him brought back. And it looks like they're doing the similar thing that they've done, or they've been doing recently with sets. Last few sets I've gotten, they have this, like, progress bar on the bottom of the manual. So depending on how far you are into the set, let's say you're just now building, you know, the plane. And Lego Indiana Jones is going to be on the bottom there, kind of moving depending on where you are. So that when you're done, he will be at the very, very right of the book. Such as right here. So that's the plane completed. Don't shoot your eye out, it says. And then Indy's right all the way back there. And that's pretty cool. I like that progress bar. It's very cool. That aside, you know, the changes to the front of the book, I'm not a fan of. But this progress bar, I am a fan of. I think it's really cool that they're doing that. Um... And then there, the, another thing they've been doing recently is when you complete a model in the book, they show these, like, stars, and it's kind of interesting. It's like they're celebrating that you, you know, built the thing, which is kind of cool. They've done a similar thing with the car here. And then let's take a look at the back. Uh, looks like there's not much to see in terms of advertisements. I think this is actually the same exact image on the front of the book. Yeah, that looks like the same. There's all the parts. Okay, there's no, there's no ads. I was hoping for a Temple of Doom thing. Um, there is the wind guy. And let's see, there's the sticker sheet. It's not terrible. I really wish that this cockpit for the plane was not a sticker. But it doesn't... You know, I'll, I'll get it as, as best as I can. There's some camouflage for the plane. It looks like most of these are actually for the plane. So this is the cockpit. These are all the camouflage stickers. Sand green. There's the warning for the tunnel, the Berlin sign, those are for that. And then only two stickers for the car. Okay, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, I was going to, I was thinking about getting the uh, the uh, Temple of the Golden Idol set from Raiders, the biggest set in this wave so far. But um, I was like, I don't have room for that. I don't have the budget for that. So I'm just going to get these two play sets. I was already planning on doing that, so that was... Um, my plan and i'm glad i got them because i have spaces for these not for that big set but very very happy to have this set i will be doing it live with a guest very soon and you'll see that notification go out let me know what you think about this set do you like this one better than the original fighter plane attack or do you prefer this design let me know um thanks so much for watching this hope you enjoyed it um and I'll have that review out for you, a couple of videos about this set. And the other one, um, that'll be it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your support. I'll see you in the live build. And until then, stay safe, stay awesome, have a great day, and I'll see you later.